Hey, what's going on guys? Matt back here with another tutorial and today we're going to be, um, well actually I've changed, I've done a little bit to the GUI. Um, let me let me show you. Um, I hope that's not going to be too loud. Um, run around collecting these. And um, now, if I move the mouse, um, it doesn't do anything. And uh, let me turn that music down. Um, so it doesn't kind of look around like it does with the with the old um, version from the last episode. Um, and also we've got these wider buttons and they're, it's, it's equally placed and stuff. And it's all relative to the screen size. So um, no matter what screen resolution you're at, it, all, it should be the same kind of thing. Um, so that's the thing. Um, and obviously the button's working as they are. Um, I can replay the level and it resets the score. Um, or I can go to the next level and it continues. Um, so like I said last time, um, let me come off of this. Um, I will be making a start level, but first I want to, um, like a start screen, but first I want to um, just cover what I've done to make that script as it is. Um, so on our change level script, I've got um, everything we kind of had before, except now um, I just kind of rearrange these. So it's like, um, it's all relative to screen dot width uh, with a capital S on screen and a small w on a lowercase w on width and same with height as well, a lowercase h um, and they're all uh, a division of the screen height or screen width um, so kind of 8, 4, the, whole, the, the big box is uh, 8, 4, 1.3 and 2 um, I'll put all this in the description and stuff um, as long as it will get, kind of go in there. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm going to basically use this to make the start one as well. Um, so if I literally just copy copy this script and we go create JavaScript inside our scripts folder, we'll have this as start script and we'll just paste it back in. Um, now we're not going to want replay level because we can't replay um, anything. So we can get rid of that one. Um, we also don't want it to say level complete, we want to say whatever our game is called. Let's put game name. Um, and then instead of next level we want it to say play and then quit can be quit as well. Um, so that's pr pretty much going to work the same. We'll change this one to level 1. Um, but one thing we're going to need to do is sort out this whole level end false thing. Um, so instead of uh, level end, we want it to be um, something like play. Um, and we want play to be false until um, here when we put true. Um, and actually this one, this one doesn't matter anyway because we're just going to quit the application. Um, but we want this level end to change to true, so then it will get rid of this. So we'll change this to from we want level end to be play and then we want exclamation marks to say if it's not if play is false basically um, then it'll do these because play starts off as false and that's how we want it to be. Um, and max points doesn't matter at all for us. Um, so we can actually get rid of uh, we can get rid of the whole update function actually, and just have it like that. Um, so that should work. Let's let's test it. Um, and we need to put start script on something. We can put it on like. Joe for now. Um, so it's got it straight away when we play. We do need to do the whole camera thing like I did before. Um, I'll point. I'll, I'll go and cover that in a second. Um, but if we don't, if we press play, then it will start the whole scene, um, which is how we want, and it sets it to false, which is good. So yeah, so that works, and um, I'm pretty sure it's in Joe Move. Um, have a look. Possibly not. Um, 
I'm not exactly sure where I put our script. There we go. It's cam look. Um, now I've got this in where have I got it attached to? I must have it attached to the floor or something. Possibly Joe. Um, yeah, I've got it attached to Joe and I should have it attached to the camera as well. Um, and if I just kind of cover that script. Um, so what this does um, is on the update, if change level, level end. So if level end is true, um, which is when the score is like that, um, then get a component with capital letters at the start, mouse look with capital letters at the start in brackets, and then dot um, enabled equals false. So basically the script called mouse look um, is false for the, for the uh, object that it's attached to. Um, otherwise, it's true, which is kind of pretty simple. Um, and that's basically going to make it so when when the when when the score uh, from here is 5 at the moment um then that's false and that's true so um we can we can actually do exactly the same in fact um let's just copy it uh, um open close open close okay so we also want if um, start script play so let's rename this to start script dot play equals false then that is false otherwise it's true so um, if we press play we can't look around um, we can still move um, but we can't look around which is kind of what we want it to be um, so that's that we if we want to make it so we can't look or uh, can't walk around either and um, we can go into our Joe move script um, and after each of these we can go um, if um, it's gonna have to be uh, if play is false, uh, if play is false, no, it's, if play is true, um, so if it's going to be the same as this one, so we can just copy this one uh, to our Joe move and put it into its brackets. So if that is true. And we can just copy that one and put it there, 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 and there, and then just close off the brackets as well. And that should. not be okay. Okay, um, I think I have must have missed one of the brackets. Let's have a look. Um, open, open, close, close. Open, open, close, close. Open, open, close. There we go. Because I put a square. Um, and that clears that up. Okay, so if we press play now, um, and uh, we, can't, we can't move around using the arrow keys or the space bar, um, and we can't um, look around either. So if we press play then, then we can um, start again. It does restart the music. Um, and on the pause screen, we can still move around. Um, personally, I quite like that. Um, obviously, looking around is a bit kind of um, nauseous, but um, moving around is fine, so you can just carry on playing if, you're, if you don't want to change the level yet, just get some more points or whatever. Um, and then you can just hit next level, and we can carry on. Um, so thanks for watching this episode guys um, I think next episode we're going to be looking at um, the stuff we, we were talking about in the last couple of episodes so 
Um, I can't remember what that is off the top of my head, but I'll look back through them to cover them in the next episode. And uh, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.